They pay into a tax levy. Those funds are collected and they're used to enhance the local businesses in the community. So if you are looking for a site for your new business, I would encourage you to go to a, a business district that has an SSA in place. Uh, the services that you receive through your SSA are litter abatement, snow removal, security, the streets and the um, light poles that decorate the holiday banners, there's customized trash receptacles, uh, we do strategic area planning, we do business attraction and retention, uh, we have the South Shore Summer Festival, which we put on once a year. Uh, it draws about 10,000 people into the community, and that should be increased the foot traffic for our local businesses. The vendors set up at this festival every year. We have local politicians that come out, um, local celebrities, and sometimes not local celebrities. We've had a few big names at some of our festivals, too, SWV, um, Drew Hill, I'll be sure, you know, quite a few. We're trying to get the whispers in this year. I don't know if it's going to happen. They're a little pricey, but <laughs> we're trying. And this is our area. I went over the, um, the streets that we cover, 71st Street and Stony Island. And the one great thing about this program is uh, it provides uh, the litter abatement, and there are also procurement opportunities for small business owners. Uh, a lot of people don't know that, but there are many contracts available through the SSA program. This company that we work with, Clean Slate, they provide cleaning of the streets on 71st Street and on uh, Stony Island. And uh, that's a shot of Jeffrey going southbound. Uh, Clean Slate also has a job readiness program. So what they do is they take um, unemployed people, homelessness, uh, people that have suffered poverty, and they put them into this job training program for six months where they clean the streets five days a week from, I think, 7 a.m. to 12. And uh, after they go through the training for six months, they find them permanent, sustainable jobs uh, at companies like Walgreens, SCR, Medical Transportation, University of Chicago, and they make a good living wage. So this is kind of like a second chance program in addition to just cleaning the streets. And as a result of that, they reinvest in the community. We also do uh, community engagement programs like the distinctly South Shore Art Festival. I don't know if any of you all have ever noticed, but uh, a couple years ago, we had artwork in all the business windows from local artists throughout the city. Um, so anyway, we work with the local artists, and it's just a way to attract art and uh, get the residents of the community to appreciate art. This is a picture of the South Shore Summer Festival in 2013. Okay, that's just a lot of that. Okay. But in addition to that, the main thing that I want to stress today is that there are many procurement opportunities available through the SSA. We uh, issue a request for proposals every year for litter abatement. Uh, if you have a cleaning company and you would like to receive one of these contracts, I, I would encourage you to submit an RFP. We do RFPs for snow removal annually. We just issued an RFP for an event planner for the South Shore Summer Festival. Uh, we will make a decision on that hopefully tomorrow. That RFP period has closed already. Uh, we will be issuing RFPs for uh, landscapers to provide planners along 71st Street from Jeffrey to South Shore Drive where they finish the streetscape area. So um, I would encourage all of you to get more involved and learn about these SSAs throughout the city of Chicago because there are great procurement and contract opportunities available. We work with graphic artists, website designers, and many other uh, businesses that you know we need to service our SSAs. So I gave all of you my cards. If you're interested in learning more about the SSAs, let me know. Um, the program is ran through the South Shore Chamber with a service provider, but it's governed by the City of Chicago Department of Planning and Development. Uh, it's sponsored by the three aldermen whose wards make up the South Shore community, the 5th, 7th, and 8th Ward Aldermen. We meet once a month uh, with the aldermen and a group of commissioners that were appointed by Mayor Rahm Emanuel. 
As a matter of fact, we have a meeting tomorrow, and our meetings are open to the public. These are public dollars that we're spending. We work from an annual budget of about $540,000. Uh, so you all are welcome to attend these meetings and learn what's going on and learn about the district planning that's taking place in the South Shore community. Does anyone have any questions? Are those meetings held here? Yes, yes, the meetings are held here. Uh, usually at 10 a.m., sometimes we fluctuate depending on whether our commissioners are available in the morning or in the evening. But if they're not at 10, they're at 6 p.m. in the evening. And we usually post them on our website and send out e-blasts to let people know when the meetings are. Any other questions? 